is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with the other half of wwe ultimate edition series 14 in the big dog the tribal chief roman reigns very excited for this review i was hyped for this figure beforehand and then when they revealed some of the details of this figure i got really discouraged but will that devalue the figure at all we're gonna dive into all the different aspects of this roman reigns if you guys missed our jeff hardy ultimate edition review definitely go check that out i figure that ultimate editions deserve their own review because they're so detail because they're so deep i will go going forward i will be doing ultimate editions by themselves i just feel like it's the right thing to do and i enjoy it so roman reigns i like roman reigns but there are some gripes with this figure that we can figure out if you guys would like to grab this you can go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but here is the tribal chief in all his glory up front you do have roman reigns across the top front viewing window here you do get a plethora of accessories got the ultimate edition logo mattel logo beautiful image of the Roman Reigns on the side there. Knocking over the scaffolding, of course. Great figure image there. Roman Reigns up there. Another beautiful image of the stallion right there. The stallion. That's not Matt Riddle. You guys get what I'm talking about. So, hey, that's a handsome fellow. Look at him. Got the bio read right there. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Some bio read stuff right there. Roman Reigns on the side. And that pretty much wraps up everything about the big dog's packaging. So, let's crack Roman Reigns out of his packaging. See what he's all about. See if this figure is indeed worth it. If it's any different than his other elites that we've gotten here recently. You guys know they love to pump out the Roman Reigns, but who will come out on top in Ultimate Edition Series 14? Will it be the Big Dog or will Jeff Hardy be a superior figure? We will not know unless we crack him out of the packaging. So with that being said, let's find out what Roman Reigns is all about. So here's Roman Reigns out of his packaging, man, and I gotta be real with you, man. Lots of stuff going on with this figure. We're gonna discuss every single bit of it. I have my pros, I have my cons. We have a lot of things going on with it, and I think there are a lot of good uses out of it, but there's also some scratchy head details that we'll get into, of course, but you guys know how these reviews work. We're gonna run through Roman Reigns accessories first, and then we're going to take a closer look at the figure itself, get into some comparisons, find out what he's all about here, and see what we got going, but let's get into the big dog's accessories. So getting into the accessories, as you get with Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition. I gotta get into these head sculpts because, uh, I mean, I guess I really don't need to get into the head sculpts because why, Brad? We've seen this head sculpt forever, okay? I've seen this head sculpt on probably 20 different Roman Reigns figures, and I'm not being dramatic. That is legitimate. We have seen this head sculpt so many times. I don't even want to look at it no more. I, I really wanted to see a faded beard, a faded haircut, a new head sculpt, not only on this one, but also on the man bun head sculpt. I mean, they had so much room for improvement. Not that they're bad head sculpts. They're good head sculpts. They're just old as dirt. We've seen them so long now. We need thicker, faded beard, nice hair. Oh, God. Get it out. Now, this is the head sculpt that I think everybody's going to want to look at, and it is a screaming expression, and Jesus Christ. Look at that right there. I like the idea. I just don't know if it executed well. It just looks crazy. It looks like he is violently vomiting or, or something like that. I think it could work, or like from certain angles. I just don't know if it looks good just looking straight at it. And maybe that's the problem, is it needs to be at like certain angles or something like that. Like, that doesn't look bad. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. I think for figure photography and pick fetting and stuff, it would work really well. But the hair is straight back. Like, he looks like, I don't know, like a fireball demon head or something. I don't even know what to say. But, I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible. It just is a little bit warped, I think, down here at the chin area. But, it's, uh, it's definitely an idea. It's there. Next up, we have a Blue Universal Championship. Would have really liked to seen Roman Reigns side plates like we've seen on some other other figures, you know, like the Rock Ultimate Edition, the upcoming Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition. I think Roman Reigns side plates would have really set this thing off. I know we're getting it in the battle pack with John Cena and Roman Reigns coming soon, but I would have really liked to see that. But championships are awesome. We also have the Cloth Bloodline shirt, which looks really badass. And on the back, it actually has the back graphic down the split of the seam. I don't know why we got that one shirt with our Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition that, you know, had the graphics on the front and back. After that, they said, F that, we're never doing that again. I really like to see that come back, but you know, it is what it is. It's a cloth shirt. It fits the figure really, really well. And that's really all you can ask for. Outside of that, we do have our shell necklace. I don't know the exact name of it, but it is like these red shells that, you know, he wore in his matches. It's sort of like a lay, but I don't think that's what it is exactly. But, you know, it, it fits over the figure. Not as snug as I would like, but it does go on there. Uh, you guys will see later on. But it's a nice sculpt. It looks just like the necklace that he wore when I, whenever I saw him wear it. So there's that. But that is a nice accessory. I'm glad to have this. You also have your red gauntlet. That's a nice sculpt. We've seen this before, but this 
this is what's new is the interchangeable hands actually have sculpted details on the hand so it's not just a regular fist it's like a gauntlet hand it has like the the details sculpted onto it which i think is brilliant so you do have your fisted gauntlet hand and then you have your mic holding gauntlet hand and both of them have texture and like risen parts of it like an actual glove so that's pretty damn sick then you have the opposite side gauntlet which is just a black gauntlet and you have your mic holding regular hand and fisted hand which we've seen a million times so getting into the roman reigns figure itself man starting out with the head sculpt you can see how the long you know flowing hair screaming ooh -ah head sculpt or the spearing head sculpt or really whatever you want to call it i mean it's got multiple names there but you guys can see when you plug it on it pretty much looks straight up like this and it can go back a little bit more so it's not like it's facing frontward and he's yelling so it's kind of odd you know you can't have like if you wanted him to be facing forward and yelling you'd have to bend him over to have him yelling like this but then you have that weird hair deal so i honestly couldn't tell you you, you, you see what i'm saying like you'd have to le lean him forward just to get him to look at the person and yell so and it just looks weird doesn't it god i feel like the mouth is stretched open the only way it looks good is if he is like looking up that's really the only way it looks good which is probably why they have it where he only looks up when you have that head sculpt on but the rest of the figure going down this torso is very odd it makes everybody look weird it may, like so, some guy like this doesn't look too bad like this but the new goldberg that's coming out the fan takeover one this one looks awkward sometimes sometimes the neck or the head sits too low on the neck calls for some really awkward situations i love that they fix the shoulder tattoo right here it looks like one full flesh piece they make roman reigns too you know too shredded but you know that's kind of action figures not really a thing but the gauntlet looks really good get your opposite side gauntlet right there i'd like to buy another one of these to put two red gauntlets on there i know we're getting the new top talents that has the other gauntlet on there too but that one's a bit different than this one this one has the sculpted on full deal there but on the back you do get the back tattoo which looks really good when he comes in like this you guys can see there is a little bit of a gap right there which kind of bothers me that should absolutely still continue so you guys can see right there tattoo is missing right here in this section so if you butterfly joint too too much it will disappear on you a little bit but it's not like horrific but it's definitely worth noting in the front it does stay continuous though so that's that's a blessing you know with that intricate detail of his tattoo you don't really you're not going to lose it that much like it doesn't break up like the rocks I feel like the rocks looked a bit awkward but going down you have the same crotch piece and legs that we've seen on roman a hundred times before and then he does have these new boots that have the added articulation which actually add for a little bit better feel when he's standing on the ground which is great but moving this down so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about here sometimes the feet do want to like slide apart but you could probably put these boots on any roman or elite and get that same kind of articulation here but let's take this head sculpt off and then we can plop on the regular head sculpt and the reason i'm doing this is just for comparison's sake so it doesn't look all weird but see like when you plop the head all the way on look how deep that is man you can see that like his neck like i don't i don't know i feel like it sits maybe a little bit too low here and it creates like really wide shoulders for his proportions i don't know man i just think i i would prefer a different torso for ultimate editions i know i, I wish they could combine an elite torso with an ultimate torso have an elite torso with butterfly joints and have that be the special deal for ultimates is to have that but you guys can kind of see is he does he not look awkward somewhere in like the chin and chest area so for your roman reigns figure comparisons guys here is the new ultimate edition up next to the mdt live mdt champion roman reigns you have another top picks roman reigns with a custom gauntlet and head sculpt and then you have another top picks roman reigns that is going to be another custom so i have a ton of roman reigns uh, they're up on my top shelf over there hopefully when i redo my room at some point redo the office the roman reigns will be a lot more accessible i'm kind of like sealed off for most of them so that does suck but i did have access to the way i wanted this figure's head sculpts to look and i still think that the top picks is probably a little bit more superior i just like the ab crunch better even though i do like the butterfly joints i'm not entirely sure what i think here but this is what this head sculpt should look like this head sculpt is from my man bew and brian did a fantastic job he brought the vision to life to what i had so you do have the thicker beard you have the fade on the side you just have a lot better updated looking roman compared to this head sculpt that we've seen so many times before just look how much better this looks this looks a lot more updated this looks the way he looked throughout 2021 2022 you have the fade over there you have the continuous beard that gets deeper and thicker as you go down this is just a lot better head sculpt so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop this head over on this side so this head sculpt is interchangeable and this looks so much better oh my goodness and there he is look at that right there bro good god in heaven look how much better this looks that looks way better nobody can tell me different that looks a hundred times better than
than what we got. So please give us a head sculpt like this. This is uh, this is ultimate. You know what I mean? I, th I think this is this gets the job done, and this this creates really nice look. You take that, you put the two championships on there. Mmm, really nice. Then he is MDT champion. So there's that. There you go. Look at that. I don't know if I would use this Roman though, because I like my other Roman formula better. I think I may put the red gauntlet on there. I think that could look cool. Crazy how I had the bloodline Roman like years and years in advance, and it came to fruition, especially with the full stable. And then for your other figure comparisons for Roman Reigns, here is the bloodline fully together. So you do have Jimmy and Jay Uso with their tag team championships up next to the Ultimate Edition Roman. Now this is my custom head sculpt. I need to put the other head sculpt on there, but it looked just this head sculpt just looks too good on this body, you know. So there, there's that. But I really like this a lot, man. This looks great. And then here's Roman Reigns with his championships up next to the Usos with their championships with the correct head sculpt. So if you wanted all of them up next to each other with all their titles in the Ultimate Edition form, here they are all up next to each other. I think it gets the job done, man. That looks pretty damn good to me. I have no issues with that. I think they all look great, especially with their accessories and everything. I know these Usos are old, but we're about to get our Usos in all black. All right, look, we're getting one of them, and then you can customize and make them all in black. But anyway, there is your Roman Reigns figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns figure. Overall, I have a lot of high qualities about this figure. Like, I like Roman Reigns. I think he's fantastic. I like the shirt a lot. I think that the head sculpts suck. You know, I'm not big on the head sculpts whatsoever. I like that the shoulder tattoo completely covers. The pinless joints look good. I think the articulation is very solid. The arms going down by the sides is a bit troublesome. The heads sit a little bit too low on the torso as well. I think that the uh, overall feel of the figure is fine. I just think this figure could have been so much better. You know what I mean? I think that's really where my, my lack is with the figure. I love the shirt. I think the graphic on the front and back is fantastic. I love the lay or the, the shell necklace is very cool. I just don't know. I don't know really how to place it. I think once we get better Roman Reigns head sculpts, it'll be a lot better, but I think I might pick the top picks Roman Reigns over this one. I'm not entirely sure. It's very hard to say. I have so many damn Roman Reigns. Uh, they call they kind of all run together there, but this figure up next to the Usos from Elite 64 is very badass. I think they all fit together very, very well. And if you're a Roman Reigns fan, you need to grab it. You definitely need to grab it if you're a Roman Reigns fan. If you're an ultimate completionist, it speaks for itself, but I don't know. I think I'm just disappointed in the selection of stuff that Mattel decided to give us here, especially on head sculpt options. And the open mouth one is very weird. Maybe mine's just warped or something, but it's definitely very odd. But that's going to wrap up my Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition review, man. If you guys would like to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. And today's shout out is going to go to Dion Reese, who says if they do an Ultimate Edition Rollins, it needs to be the Thanos inspired gear. Rollins, that would be sick. And that would definitely be sick. I'd lose my freaking mind. And this review is probably posted after we've already seen all the Comic Con reveals. So maybe they did reveal that. If they did reveal that, then that's insane. But huge shout out to Dion for the comment, man. Really, really appreciate it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Let me know your thoughts on this Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. You crossed the line.